What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I got a very special snippet from a very special interview that I did with Game from BusyWorksBeats.com. If you don't know who he is, he's a producer. You've probably seen some of his tutorials on Instagram, YouTube. If you, you know, if you are a producer, but dude knows he's talking about. And he's a dope music entrepreneur. Here's a method, the leash method that he's talking about, and so many other practical forms of advice that you can use to grow your YouTube and just fan base in general from Busy Works Beats, the game himself. It's the mat work. Like what are some of the tips you tell her as an artist from based on what you know from YouTube? Oh, from YouTube, okay. I mean, so yeah, let's stick with YouTube for a second. I'll give a couple more tips uh, than we gave before, which was TubeBuddy. And if you have to use other people's music, there's a system called Epidemic Sound. You can use that or any music library you like. Um, I would highly suggest getting Photoshop's uh, monthly subscription. I would look into something called Envato Elements or like an asset library, similar to like a music library, but for graphics. Um, what else would I suggest? Okay, now digging into the YouTube part. Keywords are everything. So in the beginning, trends are your go-to. The second thing you need to do is swipe keywords from a trending video of that same topic. Use the copy tool to clipboard for the keywords of a trending topic and trending video, put that on your video. Now you're gonna show up more likely in the related videos. So now you can leech, it's called leeching. We call it the leech method. You can leech off of somebody else's snowball and then build your own. But on top of all, all this stuff, when you really get your videos going, in the beginning you have to look at the YouTube analytics. Okay, so there's something that's a little bit more hidden, it's not so obvious. And that's the YouTube analytics. The new measuring tool is the watch time uh, click-through rate, sorry. Click-through rate is the number one measured uh, metric right now by YouTube. So you have to get people to click. Remember when clickbait was like the number one way to bash somebody? Yeah. YouTube, <laughs> they're rewarding <laughs> clicking again, okay? So click-through rate is everything. Uh, and you should be above 5% if you're doing really well. Mm. So that's like a way to gauge it. That's your KPI, key performance indicator, to let you know you're doing good. Um, so look at your, you have to, it's in the beta. So I'm trying to go by memory, so forgive me. If you go to YouTube classic tab in the top right, you know, when you click your image, then it says like YouTube creator studio beta or whatever. Mm -hmm. Click that, then you go to the bottom left and click where it says YouTube studio classic. And then you'll go back to the classic screen. Right, then right. You go to, then you go to analytics and then you scroll down until it says watch time, I think, or it might say click through rate as well. I forget which one it says. But click on the watch time tab, it will open up your watch time analytics. The point is find the click through rate and in the beta, in the studio beta, you'll see a completely separate tab where they measure impressions and click through rates. So you'll get this weird looking chart. Here's the secret. I know I'm kind of like, I wish I had a visual to explain it, but forgive me for being so sloppy with this. The point is not just the click through rate, but you want to go to your watch time videos and look, there's a section that says unique viewers and then like views or something like that. The goal for YouTube is to get new audience. So a lot of people think just because you're getting views that that's new people coming in. That's the complete opposite reality. Whereas if you look at your unique viewers, you can now tap into keywords that you, like it's called acquisition in business. You're acquiring new customers. Now you're expanding. So you have to shatter your own reality. Just because your video gets 5,000 views the first week or first day or whatever, doesn't mean that you're attracting new people. That's just the people who are already on your channel. And you have to keep that balance of growth and retention, mm -hmm. but mainly you should be focused on growth because people are not going to stick around that long. That's just the reality of it. They're not going to stick around for life. They're going to outgrow you at some point, just like old relationships or girls uh, who are in relationship with guys, they outgrow the guy or whatever, or vice versa. And you just move on. Same exact thing. Um, but I want people to focus on click through rates and then also look at watch time and then unique viewers, not just views, but unique viewers. Mm -hmm. so that you can focus on stuff that's actually working, getting you new customers or new uh, prospects. It's the network. All right, once again, that's game. Make sure y'all hit him up. He's at BusyWorksBeats. Make sure you hit uh, Buddy up, man. He's, he's a well of knowledge, man. One of my favorite people in the music entrepreneur space, especially when it comes to the internet. And that full interview is on BrandManNetwork.com. But what I think is really interesting, and you should keep in mind when it comes to growing your, your fan base, because a lot of people don't talk about this, is two particular things. 
First and foremost is that balance of how much time and money should I spend on growing my fan base versus retaining my fan base. And to be honest, that's a problem that every business faces, right? It's, it's a balance. There is no perfect answer, but at the end of the day, the truth is what Game said. You should be spending most of your time growing, growing, especially when you're at the beginning. And the reason that is, is because like he said, most people will trail off, right? It's not necessarily because they don't like you anymore. They don't even necessarily have to outgrow you. People can take breaks sometimes too. I know with J. Cole, I was literally, bro, I was, I was super early on J. Cole. I was the first person in my school who knew who J. Cole was and I was putting him on everybody, but probably, mm, I don't, I can't remember the projects that, that it was at the time, but there was like one or two projects that I kind of took off. I didn't even listen to them probably in their first four months that they were out. And then when I finally got a chance to check up on them, I checked up, you know, I'm, I'm right back on and I'm, I'm here, I'm here. I'm following them project by project. The point is of saying that is you can't rely on every fan to be completely present and completely ready to just consume every single video or buy every piece of merch or even participate and engage, right? In, in what you're doing or for your concerts every single time at all times because they have their own lives. Sometimes they're growing, they will outgrow you or sometimes they just need a break or whatever. Something's going on in their life. Something serious is going on in their life. You have no idea. You have to always make sure you keep growing so you can maintain that activity because at the end of the day, some businesses are better than others where there's a lot less water coming out the bottom, right? But everybody has some customers that get lost, some fans that get lost. That's just a part of the process. You have to make sure that you use tactics like game talked about so you can actually focus on your growth. Definitely put most of your energy into that. And it will be a struggle to find that balance sometimes, but honestly, there kind of isn't a balance. And just trust me when I say, pretty much every business is going through it. Other than that, once again, that video in full can be found on brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.